Well, the vent fan in this bathroom doesn't work. So I'm going to show you how to replace this. You start by just pulling the cover off the vent fan. It just pulls right down. And then under the vent fan, there are these two wires. If you push them together, it will release. And you can see these two little tabs. That's all that's holding this on. And they fit in that slot uh, that you can see there. So to remove it, you just squeeze one side, pull it down, then squeeze the other side, pull it down, and that will allow you to remove the cover. Now unplug the uh, insert here, this fan shroud, and then there might be a set screw here. If there is, just remove that. I didn't have one, so I didn't have to worry about that. And then make note of this little notch. You need this in order to put leverage on the shroud to release this tab that I'm pointing at here. You can see there are two tabs on the other side. Uh, those two tabs insert in and hold that shroud in place. You might have to put some leverage around the shroud in order to release the metal because it can bind when you pull it down. But after you've done that, just use a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver to release that initial tab there. And then, uh, and, and I actually had to pry some of this metal uh, loose with the screwdriver in order to reduce the binding because it was, being held in there pretty tight. And then all you've got to do is grab the motor and give it a little bit of a, a pull. Uh, you can see here and pull down on the side that you release the tab on and that will slide right out. Now I wasn't sure where to find a replacement uh, but as I was looking at this I noticed that there was some printed text on this plate, this panel it said 696N new tone and I did a search online I found that Home Depot had this exact uh, part number the 696N and I could see that here model 696N and so I went over to Home Depot and I purchased this assembly and uh, now I didn't know that it came with everything but at 1450 I thought that's a pretty good buy and after I took it out of the box, I realized that I had more than I needed. Uh, so I had this sort of insert that goes into the ceiling that has this butterfly valve, which, you know, when the fan is turned on, it opens, allowing air to flow uh, up and, and to exhaust out of the house. But all I needed was this inserted assembly with the motor and the fan. And when I looked at it, it said the same 696 in. It's a little hard to see there. Uh, but it was exactly the part that I needed. So I am going to pull this fan shroud out. And uh, one thing I was glad about is that I got a new cover with a little more modern look. You can see the old look here. This is the new look. And I wanted to use this one. So uh, I removed this assembly out. And here I'm comparing them. And you can see they're pretty close. You can see the old one, the new one. The old one has quite a bit of corrosion on it, but the tabs are in the same place, both on the left and the right side. And uh, really, the whole assembly is pretty much identical. Uh, this is the motor that shot. This is the new motor. You can see it's nice and clean. And then on the other side, I, I checked the fan to make sure that they were the same, and they were, which this really pleased me because this was a very affordable purchase. Now, when I looked up in the ceiling, I could see that they put this... Uh, bracket in place when they assembled the house and then they mudded and textured and painted over it. Now that doesn't affect the performance, but you can see here the two tabs uh, that this assembly fits into. And so to put in the new shroud, just push it up, make sure those two tabs fit inside those two notches, and then give it a little push and you'll hear it snap. And that means it's in place. Now I'm plugging it in and you can see the motor whirring here and that's really all it took to replace that broken fan. Now I'm going to put the cover on and see that notch and those two tabs. So all you've got to do is squeeze those two wires together, which I've done and pushed that in there. I've only got one hand here. The other hand is holding the camera. And so here I'm pushing the other two tabs together, putting them in that slot, and then just giving it a little push up and it snaps into place. And now I've replaced the fan. So that's all it takes. It's a pretty simple fix. $14.50 plus tax. And I have a new vent fan in 
my bathroom. If you've got any questions or comments, please post those below. And I've put a link in the description for this part on the Home Depot as well as on the Lowe's website. Thanks for watching.